Hello, my name is Roman Harkowski. In this demo, I will show you how to use the WebSphere Performance Tuning Toolkit to analyze various performance statistics provided by WebSphere Application Server and some, take some action and do the tuning on the product. The WebSphere Performance Toolkit is available as part of the IBM Support Assistant. Where do you get IBM Support Assistant? Every WebSphere customer can get IBM Support Assistant for free. You download it and you can use it in production or in development to assist you with troubleshooting, performance tuning, performance monitoring. When I start the IBM Support Assistant, I can switch to the panel and I can analyze various activities. So for instance, I can say, I want to analyze a problem. So this opens a view with multiple tools that are provided as part of the IBM Support Assistant. In my previous demo, we talked about garbage collection and memory visualizer. So today, let's talk about the Performance Tuning Toolkit. Let me launch the WebSphere Performance Toolkit. It is actually built on Eclipse RCP. And it starts this window where I can connect to my servers. Uh, I have a WebSphere running on my host. And here is my WebSphere administrative console. So as you probably know, WebSphere has the admin console, whether that's part of WebSphere Base or was in D, where you can do monitoring using the Tivoli Performance UL Toolkit that's part of the GUI. So you, I can launch that right inside of my browser window. I can click on my server and I can say I want to start monitoring my server. So then I can click on my server and I can see certain parameters in that server. So let me enable certain modules enable monitoring for JVM runtime. Uh, let's see, I want to enable monitoring for my JDBC data source and let's monitor uh, the day trader application. Let's do monitor those servlet servlets. All right, now we can view those these modules and my screen resolution is quite low, but you can see here that something that's going on with my server and you can see that I can enable and disable certain things so for example I can say I don't want to watch the used memory but I do want to see the process CPU usage for example so I could see uh, that my process CPU usage in green is very very low and that's because my server is not doing any work so let me open the Apache JMeter and let me start three users just hit the server with these three users and you can see it's running some number of transactions so let me switch back to my Tivoli performance viewer and you can see my CPU usage is now going up up to 40 percent because now I am generating some load on my server and you can see certain data about the server and the servlets uh, as well as JVM parameters and again I can go and disable enable certain things um, on my servlets on my web application and I can also see my data source utilization the pool size allocation count and various other things now this is all helpful and you can save the configuration and the other thing that you can do with the Tivoli performance viewer is you could see certain advice generated by the system so in WebSphere we have a background thread and it runs and analyzes the runtime and when you scroll to the bottom when I clicked on my advisor you can see the advice generated by the system so for example uh, let's click on this one. It, it says unread advice. So uh, there are alerts and there is configuration advice. So let me click on this one. And what it tells me is that my JVM maximum heap size is unusually small. Uh, and it should be greater than or equal to 256 megabyte. And it tells me where to go to change that. So I can go back. Uh, let's see what other kind of advice. And I've only ran it for a minute and it already gives me certain advice. So now it tells me about the data source and it says that the connection pool size is unusually large. Usually connection pool size should not be more than 30. And it tells me where to go. And it says that currently 
the size of minimum connection pool is 10 and the maximum size is 50 so it recommends that I set my maximum to 30 uh, and again I can see some other advice so the longer I run the system the workload and the more realistic it is the more advice I will get and there's advice of all kinds of various, various types like there's this alert about the um, session space for objects for the day trader application and there would be many other types of advice generated this once I run this application for some time um, so again I can go back and and change the monitoring settings inside of the web here administrative GUI so this is the Tivoli performance viewer now let's go to the performance tuning toolkit so the benefit of the performance tuning toolkit is that when I go to my server so let me connect to my local host and I can connect to entire cell which means I can connect to all of the different JVMs running as part of the cell on different physical servers and I'll say in this case on my server I only have one server running and it is local it happens to be it was in the same SUSE image that I run uh, but I don't have to run performance tuning toolkit on the same server now the benefit is that performance tuning toolkit it gets all of the different kinds of performance data together and it's very easy to change that data monitor the server analyze the data slice it and dice it in many many different ways so you could see I have a an overview of the server and it shows me some very basic statistics only performance related uh, the heap size and I've set my heap size on to be very low shows the CPU usage uh, errors and all kinds of things so if I click on my alert I double click on this alert and it opens the server monitoring window and it shows me my alerts uh, so right now I have these alerts so I click on the alert and it takes me to the alert tab and it says used memory reached to 85 percent of the maximum heap size so that's too high and you can see I have not only this monitor alert and again I can scroll and I can see transaction response times EJB response times JDBC response time server response times all of these kinds of things and I don't have to see them all I can turn this off and on so I can remove certain things uh, the last one is for instance Java heap um, I can remove this from the view and then I can go and see correlation meaning what is the correlation between different modules so for instance servlet and EJB are very correlated in my application uh, or transaction workload and JDBC uh, is also very much correlated uh, so I can see dependencies of different modules on each other I can see statistics some basic statistics uh, from my server like server response time server DGB transaction JDBC uh, and I can see them all in one page consolidated with average numbers throughput concurrency statistics I could see response times data for major components I can see throughput data concurrency data and I run three concurrent servers at the moment um, so you could see what's going on I can see all of the different kinds of alerts and by the way alerts are generated through rules so I can click on this button and I can edit these rules so some of these rules are available by default and I can customize them and I can run this analytical engine uh, where so let me open the help so you can see the kinds of things available for the uh, rules management so for instance let me click on system rules so the existing rules provided out of the box they do certain things so they automatically generate certain kinds of alerts like on errors on um, sessions on transaction rollbacks and so forth so these are provided with the product now using the, these provided tools you can customize the rules in that rule editor and then they will be executed at runtime and you can see the kinds of things you can use to build your rules so here are the variables and parameters available for the rules engine so it's very easy to see all of the different performance related things now what if I wanted to 
change server configuration as it relates to performance. How do I see all of the different performance related settings in one place? Because I can certainly go into the admin console or write WS admin script and go hunt for those performance related variables. But what if I have multiple servers? So if I had many servers, uh, they all will be listed here, part of the cell, and I can click and check on each server or check all of them and with one button I can retrieve configuration from the server and that's a performance related configuration then I can change it and I can upload it back to the server so let me retrieve this performance configuration from the server so you could see uh, the verbose garbage collection is disabled you could see the web container settings thread pool sizes, the JMS thread pools uh, HTTP transport settings and all kinds of things and I can change them in here um, so I for instance I can go and say uh, that my web container minimum pool size 40 for example um, and I can change the other settings and once I'm done changing that I can upload it back to the server so it, it will update my server configuration. The other thing that I can do, I can run scripts and apply these scripts against multiple servers. And there are some sample scripts provided. Um, and I can modify these scripts and I can apply and run them against multiple servers. Um, so for instance, the tune resources script allows me to change different things. So for example, you could see how I did that manually in this window, but I can also change that right in the script. And I can apply and run the script from here. So this is a normal WS admin script or tuning server script. This is a default uh, script that does all kinds of different default tunings on uh, JVM and I can run that script uh, against the server. Now going back to my server monitoring, um, I could see statistics on servlets, transaction, proxy, EJBs, and then when I define those different alerts, I also have the list of alerts. And for now, the only alert that I've had was the that the memory was maxed out, but I could also see alerts on different error conditions and all kinds of other things um, in that uh, window. And again, you can see different data in in various windows so this is quite useful and when I see data in these graphs I can click on these items and I can customize um, I can go directly to the data that's associated um, with this and the other thing that I can do I can expand it and it shows me statistics so in this case for my servlets it shows me the breakdown uh, for various different servlets in my application. So you could see, for instance, market summary, servlet, and so forth. So you can expand these or trade scenario servlet uh, and so forth. Uh, so this is quite useful uh, to drill down into specifics. Uh, the other thing that I can do, I can trigger the thread dump or heap dump, and then I can get the server logs and then I can analyze what's going on with my server uh, using other tools provided with IBM support assistant. Well, in summary, what do you get with the performance tuning toolkit? So the toolkit consolidates all of the data and it combines it into this multi-dimensional data cube and it allows you to find potential performance problems uh, relatively easily. So it shows you very detailed data about all kinds of performance related counters in charts and forms and uh, tables so that you can analyze and drill down from various perspectives it also helps you find the errors on transaction errors timeouts and thread hungs and so forth uh, very easily and it allows you to do the health check so you can actually write these rules you can use predefined rules and the rule engine will run against the performance data and it will generate alerts to you administrator and in some cases recommends to do certain things uh, and it allows you to also do the tuning from one centralized place where you can do this tuning by hand manually downloading the server configuration and then uploading it back 
or running a script against multiple servers all at once and applying the same tuning changes to all of the various different servers. Um, the performance tuning toolkit also allows you to trigger thread dumps and heap dumps and change the trace settings on servers, um, get the connection pool contents and that kind of thing. And it can also do the generation of performance reports so you can print them or save them or export them. Now, how is this different from WebLogic, Tomcat, or JBoss, EAP, um, or Wildfly? Those products, they do provide various amounts of performance tuning data, but that's usually not consolidated into one view. And as an administrator, you have to go around different places in the GUI, or sometimes even worse, write the custom Java programs that will pull that data through JMX and then uh, manipulate the data so that's not always easy uh, going in different screens multiple different locations logging in into multiple server instances is not easy I think performance tuning toolkit makes the job easier uh, with all of the rules health checks and reporting and hopefully makes your runtime more robust and your productivity higher thank you